What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we've got to talk about the state of the US government not acknowledging Tesla. This is one of the, you know, I don't like to get political. This is one of the weirdest things I've seen go down, but it's just as an American citizen, I'm not gonna lie, I've been extremely disappointed. Um, and this is just, I don't know what's going on because we all want the climate to be greener. We all want to transition to electric vehicles. The US, which is the home to Tesla, the company, which is one of the fastest growing companies of all time, trillion dollar market cap, selling millions of electric vehicles now on its way to electrifying the entire world's transportation system, catalyzing the shift to electric vehicles, literally the most inspiring story I that's happened in my lifetime. Um, obviously I'm biased as a Tesla shareholder, but Nobody was doing the electric car before Tesla. Nobody deserves more credit than Tesla. And President Biden and the entire US administration has ignored Tesla, has leaned into all the other companies, and it's just frustrating, it's killing me. Look at, check out this new news. So President Biden tweets, he's like, as a lot of folks know, I'm a car guy, I've gotten the chance to drive some pretty, pretty awesome vehicles, but I could have never imagined the electric vehicles that I've took for a spin today. The future is electric and it'll be made right here in America. And it's like, first of all, you're driving a GM car that doesn't exist, ignoring the Model 3, the best selling premium electric car in the world right now, the best selling premium car of any kind in the world right now, which is built by a US company called Tesla at a factory called Numi that GM actually abandoned, but no mention of that. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Biden's just doing his thing you know, all of the, and the reason why this is, let me cut to the chase here. We look at the U.S. as this not corrupt country. You know, we think of ourselves as American citizens like, oh, it's the fairest country. This is where everything happens. Like all these other countries are corrupt. It's like, nah, what I've realized is the U.S. is just as, if not more corrupt than any other country on the planet. We just call um, our bribery, I call it, lo or they call it lobbying. Lobbying is institutionalized bribery. Lobbying is a way where you pay politicians, um, you support them, you pay for their campaign, then they kind of owe you one because they got into office from your funding and then they start writing legislation in your favor. They only talk about you because other companies didn't pay them. So to incentivize other companies to pay them in the future, they will only mention the companies that paid them in the past. So of course, you have this entire thing where the unions who build all these cars are, and, and the car companies are one of the biggest contributors to the polit political system and our politicians only, they don't, they, they're gonna pretend like they want the green revolution, they're gonna pretend like they want electric cars, but they only want that if you're paying them. It's such bullshit and it really just pisses me off as an American, so that's why I'm making this video, even though I don't get political. But listen to what Biden says. This is what got, this is what got me kind of like on one. It's like, okay, in the auto industry, Detroit is leading the world. Okay, please, if you're if you're a Tesla fan, keep a straight face while I read this because I know it's gonna sound ridiculous. In the auto industry, Detroit is leading the world in electric vehicles. You know how critical it is, Mary? I remember talking to you way back in January about the need for America to lead in electric vehicles. I can remember your dramatic announcement that by 2035, GM would be 100% electric. You changed the whole story, Mary. You did it, Mary. You electrified the entire automotive industry. I'm serious, you led and it matters, said Biden. I'm like, this is why nothing you fuck say matters, Biden, because it's 100% bullshit. Like, okay, and I'm saying this, I hate to get political, and I'm like, I know it's really taboo to say who you voted for in our country, which I think is really dumb and messed up, but if you said you who you voted for on a new YouTube channel with a bunch of people watching, I hope you wouldn't judge me too much, but the fact is, I voted for pr President Biden. So for me to be beefing with him and disappointed, like, yeah, like, I wanna speak up, because like, I voted for you, dog, and this is a joke, and this isn't what I voted for. Like, 2035, like, 20, in 2011, Tesla was selling 100% electric vehicles. 24 years ago was the first car company selling electric vehicles. GM saying in 2035, we'll get there. And you're leading. Look at the sales. The sales is the GM's number one electric vehicle, the Chevy Bolt, has been outsold by the Tesla 10 to 1 in the US, even more globally, 10 to 1. For every 10 GM Bolts, they sell a Tesla. But guess what? It's even worse than that. Tesla cars cost twice as much as the Chevy Bolt. So on a dollar revenue basis, it's a 20 to 1 comparison. So it's just, and first First of all, Chevy Bolt sales are now in 21% in Q3 2021. They've had to just recall all 141,000 Chevy Bolts ever made because they're all blowing up. It's like literally not electrifying the future. It's mathematic. What numbers are you using? Mathematically, Tesla has led in electric vehicle sales in the US every single year for the past decade. It's not even close. GM has not even been a close number two. It's not even been a close competition. GM has been by definition a laggard behind like literally behind so far from Tesla. They outsource 
almost all of their components, everything that GM's doing, outsource battery technology, outsource everything. They just slapped their logo on the car. Who's actually buying the old GM plant in Fremont where they pay the most highest tax structure and is revitalizing it with American jobs, paying them an equity in the company that just got valued at a trillion dollars, creating more wealth for auto industry employees than any company. GM or Ford are not giving their company employees stock that is going up 20X. No, they're not. But they're all part of this union and Tesla's not paying their workers fairly, even though they they all just made 20x on their stock like the the layers maybe this isn't making sense but the layers to the bullshit of this statement like just kind of got me on one and i'm just like i was just in berlin the the leader of luxury cars the internal combustion engine is germany they 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 led that revolution but who is about to change that who is exporting jobs who's exporting equity and capital that is going to make us shareholders and our country you know, more prosperous, it's Tesla because they're literally building a brand new factory in Berlin. Is GM or Ford building a brand new EV factory in Berlin? No, because their EVs are garbage. Nobody would buy them if they did. Nobody is buying their EVs. That's why they don't have the money to set up new factories in Shanghai and Germany and Austin. Who is the car company literally building four factories around the world right now to electrify every single continent on the planet and transition us off fossil fuels, create trillions of dollars of shareholder wealth, create hundreds of thousands of high paying jobs for Americans, create industry that is more sustainable than ever, use that R&D to build more sustainable batteries that are more recyclable, even more sustainable ways to mine lithium. Like who is doing all of this? One company, Tesla. And the fact that you can't mention them and give them a speck of credit for what to me is my most proud thing as an American is that we have fostered a place where Tesla is able to innovate, create all these jobs, create all this bright future, electrify the entire industry. And we can't even acknowledge them because they're not paying us. They're not bribing us via lobbyists. That is embarrassing for our country. And our country is gonna go backwards if we can't even acknowledge the greatness that's happening in our backyard because we're getting paid off a tiny chunk of guap from lobbyists. Like it is just so anti-American, it's so anti-free markets, it's so anti the truth, it's so anti-science, it's so just against everything I stand for that I'm willing to put my own rep on the line and be like, fuck it, I'll get a little bit political for one episode to call out our country for their fucking bullshit, not acknowledging Tesla, who's actually leading the charge, who we need to give credit for, who we should be honoring and doing rolling out the red carpet for because they are the crown jewel of our economy right now. And they're the crown jewel. Everyone's talking about the Green New Deal. Tesla is the Green New Deal. And so I'm sorry, I don't like to get political, but if we need to change the world and get our shit together to stop climate change, we need to actually start acknowledging the truth and acknowledging the leaders that are making that happen, not just get paid by lobbyists and get bribed away for tiny amounts of capital um, and just keep going with this pathetic political system, uh, which I'm watching unfold in front of me, um, which is denying our greatest innovators and contributors from their credit. And so that's it. I'm doing my little part to try and spread the truth. This is my rant. I'm on one. Don't judge me too hard because like, you know, how, how, of course I'm going to get a million haters for putting my, like all my political thoughts in a video online, but, and you would too, right? So go easy on me. But I think at the end of the day, I'm, I'm hyped. The U S wants electric vehicles. We're hyping up electric vehicles. This is the future. This is dope, but let's acknowledge Tesla. Let's, let's, let's put the, the credit where it's due and let's say the truth and that that's Tesla's leading and that's that they deserve all the credit and that's that GM and Ford haven't done shit and the reason why we're not already having electric cars is because GM killed the electric car 30 years ago. They don't deserve the credit, they deserve the blame. So that's it.